child or two. Like, like for far as think about it, like they have to be handling business. They got kids, and especially most of those dudes always leave because they normally have a wrong by the wrong nigga. They all agree with this. Everybody already agree. Yo, I'm having a young by, by by the wrong nigga. Boom. Now I gotta handle the responsibility regardless. So they taking care of responsibility regardless. That's what should be as qualification. No, right? most what of those doing? kids should probably even be with their father. To be honest with you. But the dad don't be no, wanting these kids. The dad don't be wanting these kids. Who's going to see the father walk away with the kids when they separate? That's the whole reason why they want to update family court laws. is because by default it's slanted in the favor of the woman. That does not necessarily mean that she's the best parent. That's common sense. The system is designed for the woman to get the child when a couple breaks up. Rarely is the father awarded the children unless there's some type of documented abuse, whether physically or drug abuse. Nine times out of the ten, the child goes automatically to the female. And women be up here capping like they would, even if they had the option that they would give it to the child's father. The vast majority of them would not. It doesn't mean that she's the best parent. A lot. No, 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 no. Come when on, man. No, 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 no. Up, I wholeheartedly believe that if he was, he had his shit together, and he wanted my son, I would let my son go. Man, you should have went back with your baby daddy. Why? Why? He's a loser. Why, Why would you I go have back a baby to somebody with me? that broke me? Why would I go back to somebody that could provide for me? Why would I go back to somebody that put their hands on me? Why would I go back to that? Why would you have a baby with that person? Bang! Bang! It's good! Why? Grief. Because you had a baby by him. That's what you deserve. I don't, I don't have to be left down you, to that because I have a child. But, but, but was he like that before you opened up your legs to him? Facts. Of course not. They never are. Oh, they never are. You so, never wait, 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 So you know out of 10, when you first meet somebody, they the have best. a mask on. You they're don't representative. They're, they're, they're being what they think you want them to be. Give so, it some time, you're going to start noticing shit. You're going to start seeing, I don't like that. I I, I don't care for that because so now they're comfortable. They are. Well, that's why you should don't fuck the nigga until you see all that. And they, they can't hide who they are for very long. So, Sorry to keep stopping. I'm going to let her cook after this, but we got to break this down. I'll give her this. When you first start dating someone, <laughs> yes, you meet their representative. You are meeting the best out of that person, the best representation of said individual. She is right on that, and that's where the male or female, that's why you have to vet someone. That's why you have to get to know them, because people can only hold that front for so, so long. long. She's right. Male or female, you can only hold that front for so long. So what you have to do is spend time with that person, not meet that person in February and have that person's baby in November. You have to spend time. You have to get to know that person and that takes time. Not immediately hooking up and having kids. You have to get past the representative. And if you don't spend that time, if you fall for it, then that's on you. You're saying that your women intuition only work after you have a kid. No, nice. we're saying nothing about that. We see red flags. Don't we say that all the time? You, might, you, see, you see red flags. Let, but you don't look at nobody as being perfect. Let me ask you. Let me ask Super. Let me ask Super. Especially if you've never seen it. Hold on. Wait, wait. I got. I, I want to ask Super because I know a lot of y'all disingenuous, but we gonna expose y'all. You disingenuous. Right? No, no, no. I'm gonna ask Super. <laughs> for every guy that you've ever talked to in your life, for every guy that you got into a relationship with, and this is not just a question for you. This is a, a question for everybody. Did you already know what he was about? If he was an ain't shit dude. Or if he was an actually good dude before you got into a relationship. Nah, hold on. Did you know? Do women know before they get into a relationship? Hell yeah, they know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It don't matter what you said. You see red flags, you love them, and you stay with them for potential. I will I will say, I will agree with Super on that. I, I stay with them for potential. I You're hoping to change them and gotta hold, We got to hold our own bullshit for a second because. Don't and lie, it's, bitch. Don't lie. You, you, you know, stand with them for potential. Some, you seen some stuff and you thought that you was going to be able he to, be better. to teach I him or help him I can hold his hand. I can, yeah, you do. We always thinking we can fix a nigga. No, yeah, hold on. Exactly. A nigga be a project. I want to fix this nigga. A nigga be a project for us and we want to fix him and we want to uplift him and pour into him so he can be a better person. And at the end of the day, he don't. Yeah. So if that's the case, then that mean you knew you was with an ain't shit nigga before you got with. They know. So how we gonna lead? How do, how we gonna put that on the responsibility of just him? And y'all never take accountability for the fact that you opened up your legs. I just to a, did, nigga. To a dude up. that wasn't good for you the minute that you and met so him, you I knew he like was. I feel like in certain stages of your life, that makes sense. Now, when you get to your 30s and up, then you don't got time for it. It's over. But it's too late. Young, too late. A lot of times when people be in their early 20s and they go off to school, go off to college, or even high school, they meet these guys. They don't know. 
They don't know what this is about. It be like learning. And then once you get to be in 30 and That's you an excuse, man. two guys or because I don't know how many bodies people got. That's not my business. But you learn as you go, unfortunately. And that's why, and this why I always be saying this is why we need to go back to the system of your dad to pick your niggas out. Trade you for some livestock. Well, if my dad was around list. to pick the right man for me, then no. hooray. But he wasn't. Right. So now what? Your right. mother should have picked a better man to have, have you with. Right. Exactly. Are good exactly. I agree with you on that. A lot of no, that's, times. That's, 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 for sure. That's I do that's agree fact. with that. A lot of times we don't pick the right ones. But you know what I don't what I don't that's appreciate about this conversation most of the time when we have it? I don't appreciate the fact that it seems like the person that stayed to actually take care of the child, raise the child, and do what they're supposed to do to, you know, nurture and make sure that kid is good seems to get punished. Single mothers are dragged you should and be punished, punished regularly. You but the fact punished. that that whole ass nigga left his kid and not raising his kid, not showing up to games, not emotionally showing up, not covering and protecting that mother child, he's okay. He gets away with it. Hey, hey. He, know, he gets away with and it. And that's okay but to that get dragged mom, by them, but you'll meet that. In, in my money. Well, let's say something real quick. Randy is one of the most masculine women on YouTube. That's the first thing. She curses like a sailor. That is one of the most unattractive things, and I don't see how her husband deals with it. Be that as it may, there's consequences behind your actions. If you have children, you need to vet the person, male or female, you need to vet that person to know what type of character they have. I don't give a damn if it's a man. I don't want to hear you bitching about your baby Baby mama, you nutted in her. You right. know what it was. At the end of the day, right. there's consequences. If you pick a dude who never showed you any type of fatherly instincts or value, and you chose to have his baby, and then when he's not around, nobody cares that you have to handle it all. That was the decision that you made. Right. And let's not also act as if men aren't around just because they ain't ish, because Randy hates men. A lot of these men aren't around because the woman pushed them out of the child's life. Especially if said man didn't want to be with a relationship with her. He can't have a relationship with her. He can't have a relationship with his child. Like me on see that shit and say listen my money my choice because for one like like i said all the bad going in the world because people my money, raising my, without my money my choice fathers my money okay, my well, choice you you chose you that chose part. somebody that got kids part. but some of these niggas out here you know you see how you said no my money my choice a lot of these niggas ain't got no money to even make that but, but, but you still saw that though but you saw that and you still but chose still them. sleep with them you saw that and you still chose they them. didn't have no money when you was with them exactly. they be pretending no they no, came in with the gucci loafers on clean as we ain't, know them. we ain't know that. We ain't know that. We the only pair of Gucci loafers that he been wearing no. them for 10 years. We ain't know that. He cleaned yes, the bitches up good. <laughs> and I'm sorry for keep pausing it, but listen to what Randy just said. The first thing she went for was a man's materialistic because he was wearing Gucci shoes, not his character. They don't <laughs> care, know, man. What, what do they say when they say the, the thing about when people, they, they date. How can I say this? They date. I worked in a bar. Put it like that. In my early 20s, I worked in a bar. I was a waitress, right? So... I work there a lot. I'm there all the time. Most of the guys that I met were those guys in the club. I wasn't doing nothing outside of it. I wasn't meeting nowhere, nobody nowhere else. That was a place where they could oh, intimately dating, find me. Dating based on your environment. Yeah, you, date, you date based on your environment. If I'm not privy to what you're talking about, I can't meet a man like you. I'm not in those areas. This is just my life and what's happening right now. I got a waitress to make money. That's just what it is. But this is what I'm running to. And then I, I end up running into these men that's not shit or dating multiple women or got the jewels on and what we see. Don't have their baby. What are we talking about? You feel me? Because that's what everybody around us is telling us is what's good and, and the type of person you're supposed to deal with. Excuses. What are we talking that's about? That's not an excuse because if I don't know better, I can't do better. No, you're that's you, real. No, no, that's no, no, no. Real. You, you don't know life don't that. care, man. If, if any man, if any man ever said this, Y'all would say he was a weak man. Facts. Because men are meant to be strong. But no, no, no. First y'all say that, oh, we need to have mental health services and let men have a voice. Yeah. Then when they do it, y'all call them weak men. It's not a stupid ass oh. voice. He can have a voice, it's not a stupid ass one. If we don't pay idiot. child support, we go to jail. Not That's all of y'all. If we don't pay child support, it's a couple we, niggas. It's a couple niggas clapping right now that got that got back pay and rears just right now. Rears. Sure. No, no, I that, feel like if you, you, better, child support, you better pay. You go to jail. If you know what I know, you better pay that shit by December thirty first, nigga. That insurance that that mother. When, don't when, hit on when it. they don't want to take accountability, idiots. When we start to compare, homegirl in the middle is tacky. Who all the makeup on? She tacky. Um. Anyway, uh, this is Theo Coop. This is this is Theo Coop reacts. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. <clears throat> We're just doing a reaction to a reaction. The, the show they watch is Anton Daniels um, podcast. Y'all can go and check him out as well. But yeah, this is yeah this is interesting. Let's go ahead and get back into it. 
<clears throat> because y'all wanted to be like us. Y'all wanted but to have, did, just like work? just like y'all wanted to be like the white man. Y'all no, y'all wanted to be like huh? us. You wanted to work like us. Yo. You wanted equal pay. Yo. You wanted to be able to choose who you wanted to sleep with. You didn't want to listen to your parents. Oh, you, no, 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 stupid no, bitches no. want options. Y'all y'all wanted to you go off. Stupid whores. No, y'all wanted to go off to college and do your own thing. Oh, Get, you educated wait, bitches. Wait, wait, guess what? Can yes. speak on that? Why? Yeah. No, no, no. Matter. Hold on. Hold on. Women Look. didn't just jump and yeah. say, I want to vote. Finish. I want to do this. I want to do that. They had to. Yeah. Women, they, what they, happens they couldn't is, make decisions for themselves. What, ha what happens is... We couldn't even is, get bank accounts until like the 90s or some shit like that, bro. 70s, there you go. Credit cards. What happens shit. is... When you open up yourself to the world, you get your ass kicked. Yeah. Facts. What men have always experienced is that we got to pay for the consequences of what happens when we make these decisions, whether we like it or not. Nobody gives a f about our feelings. What y'all are experiencing is what y'all were protected from your whole life. Y all, y all, no, no, the no, no, no. The world flipped upside down. That time that you talking about is so long ago. No, it's not. When, 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 oh, but no. this the thing, though. It no, changed. It's, no, that's not fair to say. It because changed us. when, when reality, felt like they didn't have to be. A lot of things happen because of our community was intentionally set back. Yeah. We had to be honest and have that know. conversation. They put drugs we had to, into our, they, our community. Our community was flooded with drugs. Our men were taken no. away from us, and we were forced into an independent but, lifestyle okay. for real. Y'all took the bait. We the, 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 y'all bit the cheese. The government uh, wiggle welfare in front of y'all. Say, put these niggas out. Y'all grandmas took the bait. Yeah. These are facts. I'm not mad at that. You right. Yeah, you right. You right. My, gran this well, my, you granddaddy, right. my granddaddy was in jail. My granddaddy was in jail. And but Randy, shut up. There's multiple things here. One, I believe that host Randy hates men. That's one of them. And she always makes terrible comparisons. And she also argues like a child. If Anti says something, well, women are disingenuous, she pops right back. Men disingenuous. She's looking around the crowd, smiling, looking for approval. See if anyone is laughing at her unfunny antics. Go to hell, Randy. But on a serious <laughs> note, man, salute to the one lady on the left. I think her name was Sugar with the glasses. Mm -hmm. She was actually being a bit accountable. But Randy and Crystal just make excuses, man. And like Anti says at the end of the day, nobody cares. If you a man, don't nobody care about your problems. It is right. what it is. And I said this before and I'll repeat it. You have to vet the person that you have children with. You shouldn't have babies with someone you right. know overnight. And if you see the red flags, like the women admitted on this stage that they don't know a dude ain't ish and they'll still have a baby with him. Randy will call him a loser. Crystal say he beat on me, but they'll still have babies with these dudes. Nobody cares about what happens after that. If you have a child with that person and you end up having to do anything, nobody cares because you didn't care when you were selected that mate. And I said the same exact thing to a man. I don't want to hear about your baby mama and how she ain't ish. You nutted in her, okay? At one point, she was good enough. It's just the excuse making and it's the constant victimhood because one thing that Crystal said as well is, uh-uh, they be lying. It's always Jermaine's fault. They be lying. They be putting on the front. Everyone puts on the front when you initially meet them. It's your job to get past that. And if you don't, that's on you. But you guys let me know what you think. Do better squad. Fall out. That's dope. And that's okay to get dragged by them, but that's dope. <clears throat> mm. You're right, though. Like, hell, look at Rick Ross' baby mama. What was her name? Tika or something? What was her name? The one, the real hood one. What is her name? Tamika? Tanika? She, she, she always going in on Rick Ross. She real hood and obnoxious, loud. I was thinking to myself, what did Rick Ross see in her to go wrong with her, to even sleep with her? Like, what was it about her? And I, you know, I know he probably loved, I think he has a son with her. But I know he regret, like, damn, I wish I would have wore a condom. I wish I even hit that. Because she is on his ass all the time. <clears throat> to the point where they even gave her, they even gave her a show on, um, on the Zeus Network. So you got a show with her and Tokyo Tony and all them. Yeah. I know he regret. But I was like, why? I was like, why? What, what, what was it about her that made him want to sleep with her? Like, she is not even, she's very obnoxious. Very obnoxious. Hood as hell. I'm like, why do he want to sleep with her? Like, what made it? And then go raw at that. <laughs> Shit. Anyway. So, yeah, men got to be accountable about the women they have kids with, too. Just like women do. Hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what y'all think.